going on adventurers? Today we are at the Belmont Inn in Abbeville, South Carolina. It was established in 1903. And Patty with the G Team is here with me. Hi there everybody. There are many, many reports of spirit activity here. And we've been here for already one night and we have already gotten a lot of activity. So we can't wait to share that with you. We're having an awesome time and we are gonna just give you guys paranormal overload right now. So let's yep. do it. We are in our room right now, which is one of the most haunted rooms here. It's actually a suite. My REM pod is over there on the bed. I did turn it off because we're filming and I didn't want it to have that ringing in the background, that buzzing, but it was going off and you'll see a lot more of that in our video from here. Of course, you may have already seen some of it, but um, it's it, it already went off within like a minute after I set it there. Wow. Um, All right, guys, Patty's exactly turning the REM pod back on. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and turn on the necrophonic for a few minutes and see if any spirits want to communicate with us. Great. Who's here with us tonight? How many of you are here with us in this room? Nine. Are you able to light up this REM pod for us? Just come over to it and touch it like that. I know you did it earlier, but I missed it. Hi, what's your name? Go ahead and touch it. Get real close to it. Here I come. Is that what they said? Yep. What is your name? Emmett. Emmett. Emmett? Emmett? I think it did say Emmett. Wow. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Listening? Yeah. What's your attachment to this hotel? Light? Oh, maybe they're talking about your light that you're using right now, Patty. The Do you like my red light that I'm moving around here looking for cold spots? <coughs> If you can stand where the slide is, uh, if yeah. it would uh, really help me a lot. Show me where you're at. I'm down here hiding. Is this Charlie? Uh, this is Charles, okay. He doesn't want to be called Charlie. He wants to be called Charles. There you go. Now you're lighting it up for us. It has more colors if you want to make it really pretty. Get real close to that thing. Earlier, the owner said his name, we can call him Charlie in the book, but he should say his name, wants, he wants to be called Charles. So is that you, Charlie? I did hear Abraham. That's the famous ghost. He said yes. Hi, Abraham. Nice to meet you. Hi. 
Patty. Did I say Patty? <laughs> I heard Patty. I'm right here. Did you say me? I mean, did you say Patty? <laughs> Oh. oh. It was by the on the pillow. It said go up. Go up. Okay. Go. There we go. See? Look at that. I mean, there's nothing up there. We don't have anything here that would make you go off. No. I always like to show the camera that so the people don't think we're going to It said no. <laughs> Wow. I'll set it right here on the pillow. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Who's laying on the pillow? Are you right there by the pillow? Go, go get close to the meters. There's time to yeah. have this thing in place and you never want to do anything. Mm -hmm. Yep. So that just tells me right there it's definitely very active here. Why don't you gather all the spirits in the hotel and just bring them to this room? Yeah, there you Yeah, go. that would be fantastic. <laughs> Let's have a spirit party in here, guys. All night. All night. Oh my God. What? It did. It said all night. All night long. Is there a little girl here? Did something happen to you here? Is that why you're sleeping around? Play. Play. <laughs> It's either Sarah or Sally. Is it Sarah or Sally? Do you like the play? What happened to you? Miss the stairs. Wow, that's awful. What's going on guys? So currently I am in room 12. Um, this room has reported activity. Um, what we've been told was that actually, um, I believe it was actually the owner, Susan, um, her daughter and grandchild were in this room and they actually witnessed these curtains here moving as if somebody was underneath of them. So that's pretty interesting. I'm hoping maybe something like that will happen. So I'm just gonna sit here quietly and see if we hear anything, any disembodied voices, anything like that. Patty's actually in the room next to us, right down that hallway. That's num room number 10. And that's actually the adjoining room to our suite that we're currently staying in. So we're actually not staying in this room or the other room. We're actually gonna be showing you several rooms that um, they were nice enough to actually let us investigate. Luckily we're here during the week and it's not full. But, you know, be sure to contact them here at the Belmont Inn if you're interested in staying because it is a wonderful experience. And the restaurant, um, it's called The Veranda. I cannot go on and on enough about it. It was such a delicious meal. We all really enjoyed ourselves. So, And be sure to get some sweet tea as well. And the truffle fries were amazing. The wings were amazing. Um, the ribeye and the salmon were all outstanding. So we're just going to sit here quietly now and just see what happens. I may run the spirit box, the necrophonic, shortly. Right now, let's just kind of see what's going on in here. This is what the room looks like. So as I'm sitting here, I'm feeling like a, a bit of a cool breeze and there's no air conditioning on or anything like that. Oh, this is interesting. So the little thing that tries to focus where there's a person on the face is actually moving up the curtain on the right side. That's wild. It's like there's somebody there.
If you're here with me, can you show me that you're here? Can you please pull the curtain out for me? I heard that you've done this before and it scared some people, but I want to show everybody that you're a friendly. I'm just going to make myself comfortable right here and see what happens. Hopefully something will happen with these curtains here. remain quiet and see what we see in here. I'm waiting to see if I hear any footsteps, any disembodied voices, and it's possible that I may not even hear it. It's possible that we may just hear it when we play it back on the um, camera. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the microphone just for a couple minutes and see what happens. It's starting to light up now, guys. Go ahead and light up the K2 meter for me if you want me to go ahead and turn on my spirit box so you can talk to me. Can you light it up again for me? Right, I'll go ahead and turn it on for you. Who's here with me? You're welcome. Who is this? Hi, what's your name? Can you light up this can you light up this meter for me? I know you did oh there you go, thank you. Wow, that is amazing. So I heard some someone, one of you May these curtains puff out. Can you do that for me tonight? That would be awesome. I know you're here because you're talking to me on the spirit box and you keep lighting up the K2 meter for me so I know... Patty, yeah. I just had to share this with you real quick. I just, no, I just heard you ask if they were a man or a woman. Yeah. And it came through and said man on my, I was doing the necrophonic. Really? It came through and said man. Oh, wow. I just happened to overhear it. I was like, wow, that's crazy. That's crazy. I just yeah. want to tell you that. Wow. What? And did you knock in here? No, I did not. I did okay. Did I did hear a knock a couple minutes ago. It was pretty loud. That's awesome. Okay, I'll leave you to it. Wow, that was pretty wild, guys. All right, so we are continuing with our spirit box session, the Necrophonic. Yep. 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 What's your name?
Oh my goodness, look at that, guys. Wow. Can you move the curtains? Can you light it all the way up to red? Gold. Can you light it up to the very last one? I believe you can. Go ahead and do that for me again, please. Can you light it all the way up? Hey, Lay. Can you go ahead and light it back up for me? That was pretty amazing. Can you light it back up to red like you just did? That was pretty cool. Okay, I just came into this room, uh, which is right next to the room where I just came out of right there. Jen's been in here for about, about 15, 20 minutes by herself. What all have you experienced in here? Um, I mean, mostly it was the K2 meter. The activity has been oh, crazy, crazy on this K2 meter over here. Um, when Patty just walked in here, it was like all the way to red and it was just, it was consistent. Um, can you go ahead and light it back up for us, like all the way to red so everybody can see what we're talking about? Just grab that thing. Touch it. Don't be afraid. Do like you were doing a couple minutes ago. And I even turned out the lights and I was sitting in here in the dark and just kind of, I mean, I'm hoping maybe the camera picked up some, you know, disembodied voices possibly. Mm -hmm. But I didn't actually hear it. The only thing I heard was a knock. That was when I came over to your room because I, okay. you know, but you, it wasn't you. No. So, it wasn't me. Uh, that was pretty wild. Well, we've established that there's spirits in this room as well, just by that, because there's it takes a lot to make that meter go off, and we know that. So thank you so much. Um, now this room is the room that. What room number is this again? This is number twelve. Okay, this is number twelve. And this is the room where the curtains were actually puffing out. They said. That's right. I was, I was really focused on that. I didn't see anything happening like that. Mm -hmm. But I mean, you know, maybe you will. And that's the thing with paranormal activity, you just never know when it's going to happen. Some people experience things that others don't. doesn't mean yeah. it didn't happen, it's just not going to happen for everyone. Exactly. You know, so, um, but we would love it for you to make it happen, that would be great. There you go, you can do it. Would you like to communicate with us? We can turn on a device where your voice can be heard. Would you like that? If so, light this thing all the way up. Maybe you have something you would like to say. We know that there's a lot of spirits that hang around this hotel. What is that? To the other room all right guys so it is the next morning and we are getting ready to head into the breakfast room the belmont has a very nice continental breakfast that they offer here i'm just going to take you inside and show you around a little bit this place is amazing you've got to come check it out for sure we have this really cool antique cash register here isn't that awesome i love stuff like that patty's in here trying to find her breakfast oh yeah <laughs> they got all kinds of good stuff in here, huh? They do. I just want to show you all the goodies they have in here. They have some cereals, hot and cold. They got grits, oatmeal. Um, we've got the frosted mini wheats, the rice krispies, the special cake, the cornflakes. And then in here, they got creamer and milk in here, some butter, applesauce, some fruit cups there, sausage and biscuits, and yogurt. microwave here for you over there they have a coffee condiment station 
toaster over that way. It's pretty cool in here. And the best part is the view. You can look right out there, you can see the veranda. So this is the peacock room. All right guys, so I'm currently standing in the peacock room. And as you can see, it's very beautifully decorated. Um, they have special events in here. They have uh, certain private meetings and things like that. They also serve their Sunday lunch. And I'm really sorry that we're gonna miss it because it sounds delightful. Um, it's $12.95 a person and it's like home cooking. So you guys have to be sure to check it out if you're staying here. And be sure to tell them we sent you. We are definitely gonna be back soon. We're gonna try to be here on a Sunday so we can experience that for ourselves. But if you experience it, please leave us a comment of how you enjoyed it because I wanna hear all about it. Okay, so this is Faith and she's got a few stories she'd like to share with us as well. Yeah, I have two stories in particular. Um, the first time that I had an experience was actually when Edie and Renee um, owned the hotel. Um, it was in the dirt room. Have you ever been to the dirt room? Yes, yes. we were in there last oh. night. Well, we were, we were doing some things, trying to get everything ready, painting things, um, fixing stuff up, and we were in and out of that room. Mm -hmm. And we would leave, we knew the light was on, um, would leave, come back, light was off. Turn the light back on, do what we had to do, leave, come back, light was off. Okay. Happened two or three different times. Um, never happened again, and I haven't really been in the dirt room very much since then, so. Um, wow. But, but that was the very, that was probably maybe within the first month that I was here. Okay. And then the best experience, though, was actually right here at the steps, um, going up the, um, second floor, um, I had the vacuum cleaner in my hand and I was fixing to start vacuuming up the stairs and something kind of touched me right here on my back. Mm -hmm. um, it pushed me, not aggressively, like to fall over. It was kind of playful almost. Um, it, and, and I've always said this, told people that I thought that it was a kid, a child, mm -hmm. because it was almost like they were running by me and was like, tag, you're it, and kept running. That's okay, cool. yeah. So, but... And then that's that's about it. That's really the only experiences I've had. Okay. But, um, but that was, I think that was the best one. That's the that only time so cool. I've ever been touched. Mm -hmm. um, but it, like I said, it wasn't it wasn't scary. It wasn't aggressive. It was mm -hmm. more playful. Yeah. Than Definitely some very yeah. friendly and playful spirits yeah. here. Yeah, Makes I've me wonder if it was had... a little girl. Was it Sally? Might be. There was a little girl we think that named Sally here. And I and we didn't know. I didn't know what what to call. Yeah. I, I knew that, I, I really felt like it was a child. So this is Edie, guys, and she yeah. is the previous owner of the Belmont Inn. And she's telling us some amazing stories, things that she's experienced here. Uh, I came in the back door and had been so many, so I was coming back in, but it was about like three in the afternoon. It was broad daylight. And when I walked in, so it was not like any shadows or anything like that, and I saw the little baby that was, uh, that worked for us at the desk, and I clearly saw what I thought was Renee turn around. I could see the back of her head. Her hair was pulled up, you know, and it, Renee is sort of a hippie type of personality, so she has old style hair, and she has long hair. And I saw her go around the corner and go into my office. So when I came in, I had something to tell her, and I walked by, and I went into the office to find her. She went in there, and I said, Betty, where did Renee go? And she goes, I hadn't seen her. And I said, well, she was just right here with you. And she said, no. Wow. I said, I saw her. I mean, I saw her walk out, and she said, she's not been down here, and she hadn't been. I found her. Wow. <laughs> that is wild. This is where the Union soldier is buried. Oh. I don't know where his grave is, but this is where he's buried. Wow. This is so amazing. Right here. I don't know where I would be. But it circles around. But my car is so big, I may not go around. Okay, there's the Confederate soldiers. I don't know where the Union soldier is. And here's the Confederate cross. But you can go all the way around. Wow. Hmm. You want me to do this? Where's your rent pump, Patty? Yeah. Uh, it's in my bag. You want to do an investigation? <laughs> what the hell?
is that? <laughs> Are you, I'm sorry. It's not like a werewolf. Cost between a coyote. It's not like a werewolf. Oh my god, that was crazy. <laughs> oh sh! I that, think it was right next to the car. Where it is did. it? I wonder. I said, well, that dog must be dead, so I'm not gonna say anything about it. That is pretty awesome. Let me see. This is so wow. Gallons, is they have really cleaned it out, though, y'all. Looks nice. Now all this is grown up, but oh my gosh, they've really done well. And there's bamboo. See the bamboo. And they've got the, the cradle oh. graves, you see right here? They call them the cradle graves. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Did you just touch my hair? No, I did not. Something touched, Something touched my hair. One of these is McGowan's in the middle. Okay. Not, not, not here, but in the middle of the thing. So, we have some of these up in Maryland. What What is the purpose of the cradle graves? Do you have any idea? Like, why did they make them like that? Well, it started, from what I understand, it started off like children's. Okay. Oh, no, let's see. <laughs> You're brave. I came back up. Hell, I, I gotta do something. You can't. Mm -hmm. We might go over it. It's no, awful close. You might be. No, we're good. Okay. That was close. Oh, you go, boo. That right was amazing. Look at this. I know. What is that? What? With the water, the condensate. Oh, it's coming back? There's McGowan's out through there somewhere. Oh, wow, this is something else. Mm -hmm. This is. I wonder if any other ghost hunters have ever been out here. We have. Okay. Some groups have, but not to do a full. What is Brinkin in your bag? What? Or my bag? Wait, what is this? There's a red light blinking. This came on by itself in my bag. Where's the dog? In that fence over there. Oh, sure. All right, now I'm it came on by itself, Patty? Yeah, it came on by itself. To tail. go this way, and then back up, and go back that way again to get out. It's always an adventure. Every day's an adventure. All right, that's where we get off, baby. Right here. Good job, baby. Good job, baby. Oh. <laughs> you go, baby. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what is this? Is this a house? Uh-huh. Oh, okay. It looks like this it's... This is the road behind Trinity Church. Oh, all right. Yep. All right, guys, so we're currently in the lobby, and Patty just set up the REM pod. Margie said, let's see what happens if we set the thing up in here. Yeah. yeah. So we did, and it's starting to go off already. Is the lady in the black dress here or anybody else? What was the other name Jim said? Lila? Lila. Okay. Maybell. Maybell, Maybell. Lila. Hmm. I wonder if she's following us. Maybe. Sally's the little girl that wanted to play ball. Mm -hmm. Jump on the bed. Oh. Or is it Sally? <laughs> Hello there. Are you here with us? Get real close to the meter and light it all the way up. Okay, so Marjorie just set the REM pod up there on the shelf. And uh, right there at the counter. And uh, it's going like crazy. And the lady that works behind the counter tonight is witnessing this. <laughs> Abraham, can you can you show the spirits in here how to talk on this? You did a good job down there. It sounded like him. What did he say? Did I hear angel? Did I hear Maybe. Angel? Maybe that is what he said, angel. Really? Yeah. He likes him, Patty. He does Sometimes like Patty. It's easy to hear from across the room more so than it is when you're right up on it like I am right now. <sighs> okay, guys, so we're trying to leave this hotel and it's been very difficult for us to leave because we just feel so drawn in this place. We're trying to leave right now and my car will not start. This is practically a brand new car. I've never had any problems with it and it's not starting. Something has drained my battery. Did you just hear a bang on the car? Yeah. 
Look at this. I cannot. This is crazy. I can't believe this. Is it completely down? It's showing the battery light. I mean, I don't know. We need to go inside and see if anybody in there can give us a jump. Yeah, we do, for sure. Oh my God. Wow. This is crazy. This is crazy. It's been one thing after another. So guys, we just got our jump start. The people here were nice enough to help us out. And Patty's trying to back up. And it was just showing, like, it's still it's showing it. that there is somebody behind us. What the heck? This is crazy. So I'm trying to back up after just getting a jump. And it's acting like there's something behind me and there's nothing there. Look. They don't want to... Did what it feel that? like something just touched the car? The it did. There is what? something trying to stop us from leaving. They do not want us to leave, guys. We have to leave, but we are coming back, so please don't try to keep us here any longer. What? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and back up, but let's see what happens. Okay, Thank you. Thank you. Right, we just thank the guy that gave us the jump. What the? Whoa. What? Okay. Jen, what, what did I just run over? I don't know. What the f is going on? I, I don't know what's going on. It this felt like a, something big. I don't see anything. Back up. I don't see anything. I don't see anything. That was weird. Whatever was there is gone now. So we are leaving guys. Patty is driving. It's so weird. I just can't believe what just happened. So this is what the Belmont looks like at night guys. Look how charming and beautiful it is. Again, right up there, the top right, is the balcony for our room. Suite number 26 and it's amazing. Definitely have to request that room if it's available. It does sell out quite often, especially on the weekends. So just be sure to ask and reserve way ahead.